So there's a little something I was playing with yesterday after I'd been in the attic and tidied that up for a couple of hours just making sure all my junk was in the right order. It is an Ape Tech Hyperpen 6000U. So it's a tablet, or a drawing tablet I should say. One of these days I'll fix that handy cam and I might have a decent camera. It's old, quite old now, but I had one already. I just had the tablet, no pen or anything. Just sat spare. Is it specs? Back of its case. Excuse me if I sound a bit unenthusiastic. Uh, I've only just got up and that's not a good thing considering it was about 11 o'clock when I did. But I was up till about half one, two o'clock just doing nothing. Yes. And what does it need to run? 100 megahertz? I may struggle with that. Windows 98? But I'm running 7. Ah. 16 megabyte of RAM, what do you think we are? Made of money. And a colour monitor. The American spelling of colour, I might add. The most natural way to draw and write on your desktop or notebook PC. Instant cordless mouse. Sorry, instant. Internet cordless mouse free, bundled with hyperpen. Let's do Deckard Kane. Cordless pressure sensitive pen features full 512 levels of pressure and ultra high 3048 LPI resolution against Diablo and Bale. Comes with complete software for drawing and painting, which obviously by this point in history you do not need. It will just nicely install and work with 7 straight off. It's a mouse too! Handles everyday mouse tasks such as double clicking icons, which is a pain in the ass, selecting menus, which is a pain in the ass, etc. With ease! They're all a pain in the ass, probably because my hand's like that with the damn thing, because I'm so used to a mouse just being a solid lump of plastic. <laughs> Works great with Windows XP! So. This is basically the board. It's plugged in, ready to take advantage. Whenever you're in a normal software, the F1 always flashes. It is a bit small by modern standards. It's 6 inch by 4.5, which doesn't fit. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't. It, it could do with being something like 8 inches long, and then 8 inches by 5. That would probably fit a widescreen resolution quite well, especially a HD one, just for desktop tasks. Back of the device. The mouse for the interwebs. If I remember right, whoop, they both take AA bat uh, AAA batteries. There's the pen, it has one in it. There's its button, which basically is like a two way button. If you can just see them there. That is mouse 3. And then that is mouse 2. So right click and middle click. Then obviously left click. You can just see the slight movement inside. That's your left click. And then you would have this as well with a battery in it. And you just have it on top of it. And it'll give you a mouse control again. Oh, as a quick update, this arrived in the post this morning. The Sony via floppy disk drive. It's USB. Like I said it was. I am probably, once I've had a quick doodle of this and show you this, before I go out, which doesn't give me much time, 
I'm going to give it a quick test, see if it reads floppy disks from this, and then it just doesn't like El Generico floppy drives, which I have here. And it came with some floppy disks too, a whole eight multicolored ones. So, without further ado, let's go up and play it with the pen device. An interesting shot of my walls, my wardrobes and cupboards whilst I arrange myself. <laughs> e right. Basically, you hover above it till you need something. Sorry if there's going to be glare and stuff. It's not going to be very well focused, but this is the only way I can really do this. And then say we want to go on to this, which is something I did last night. It takes a little bit of... There we go. To which I suck at drawing. So, we will navigate to the cross which is a little awkward because like I say it's not designed for such a large screen single uh, I did sort of get it down last night yeah there we go how to uh, how to navigate folders and stuff Do, 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 do. Let's go to check out. Ah, this is the second drive right here, so I don't think there's any on here. Um, yeah, let's just load something for the heck. Yeah, maybe not that. Something that won't get me copyright. Oh, something we can all bop along to. Yeah. Writing is a little awkward. I'm still trying to figure this one out. Yeah! <laughs> Other than that, there's not much more you can show. I'm thinking of taking up maybe trying to draw and stuff. I've sucked at drawing naturally, as we could tell by my previous little character. And that'll probably get me a YouTube flag anyway, that copyright for Swamp Things theme. I mean, it's, it seems pretty accurate. Probably not the highest quality going. Uh, unlike a real pencil you've really got to sort of move your arm but keep everything locked straight so that you can get it right but it's pretty responsive you don't get that sort of um, feedback oops all right there's no way to camera I was just filming all day long you don't really know where to get the feed, the feedback that you get from typing, typing, writing in general, because there is feedback, but it's it's just plastic on plastic. There's no soluble feel of graphite or anything touching or ink, like the feel of the tip. It's weird.
But eh, I'm going to give it a whirl. So I'll get this badly shot video converted and uploaded to YouTube and test that floppy drive and then get the hell out of here. Once again, just for proof of the fact. When I can actually do it right. There we go. I suck at drawing. <laughs> that is a T, not a G. My brother was being an ass last night going, you've done an upside down G. And I'm like, dude, it's a T. It even looks like a T, just a very badly done T. Even Mr. T would say that's a T. But a fool T. Rate, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube blogging. Loop me third out.